the Ice Bowl on December.31, 1967, became one of the games that defined the NFL, a contest between the Cowboys and Packers played on the tundra in Green Bay. The winner went to the second Super Bowl against the Oakland Raiders, but a bigger accomplishment may have been simply surviving the conditions that seemed unbearable. The temperature at game time was 15 below zero, with wind chill in today's calculations at minus 48. Fifty years later, players from the Packers and Cowboys still shiver from memories of the bitter cold of a game that would become known as the Ice Bowl. Here is the story published by the Associated Press after the game, presented as published January 1, 1968, by the Greenville News of South Carolina. Green Bay, Wisconsin, AP, conservative Vince Lombardi gambled and won Sunday with 13 seconds left by going for the winning touchdown on a Bart Starr keeper instead of a tying field goal for a 21-17 Green Bay victory over Dallas in blue 13 below zero Eskimo weather. The whole world loves a gambler, but not when he loses, said coach Lombardi after his Packers had won an unprecedented third straight National Football League playoff title. We were out of timeouts. I had the field goal team warming up. They would have gone in on the next play. But I don't know if we would have had time to send them in, he said. Quarterback Bart Starr, who said, we ran out of ideas, made the gamble pay off by scoring from the one on third down behind the blocking of Jerry Kramer. We were stumped for something to do. Kramer made a great block on Jethro Pugh, he said. The veteran star had thrown two touchdown passes in the first half, but the doomsday defense of the aroused Cowboys had dumped him eight times for 76 yards in losses. Dallas used two Green Bay fumbles to draw close with a touchdown and field goal and had gone ahead on the first play of the last quarter on a 50-yard option pass from halfback Dan Reeves to Lance Rensel. I didn't figure all those people up there in the stands could take the cold for an overtime game, said Lombardi with a grin. You can't say I am always without compassion. Both Starr and Lombardi praised the work of Donny Anderson and Chuck Mercine, who caught important passes and made crucial gains in the game-winning, 68-yard march. The Dallas Cowboys, still carrying the memories of a heartbreaking 34-27 defeat last New Year's Day, almost made the fierce cold pay off for them in Packer fumbles. But it wasn't enough. Minus 13 said Don Meredith, quarterback for the Cowboys. You just can't do things you want to do in weather like this. The Cowboy defense did things it wanted to do, manhandling star. George Andre was a one-man gang, and Bob Willie Pugh and Willie Towns all had a hand as well as linebackers Chuck Howley and Dave Edwards. In the final analysis, it was the same old Packers, moving when they had to. This is what the Packers are all about said Lombardi. What we did in the last two minutes they don't do it for individual glory, they do it because they respect each other and have a feeling for the other fellow. Stars two touchdown passes to Boyd Dowler had built up an early 14-0 lead for the favored Packers in the frigid cold of 13 below zero weather.